Hello fellow musicians, welcome back to another video, and I know I'm probably going to get some backlash because of the title of the video, but I don't care. Coronavirus does not scare me. The main thing that it does, in my opinion, that is good, is that it encourages people to wash their hands, but truthfully, it, people should be washing their hands anyways. Because there's been a few times where I've seen people do their business in the bathroom, like, I, of course, like, in those public bathrooms where there's, like, multiple toilets or multiple urinals, because, of course, guys are urinals as well, and I might get out of the urinal slash toilet at the same time as, like, somebody I'm with gets out their end of the urinal and toilet, and I wash my hands. Guess I'm smart. But they don't. Like, are you kidding me right now? You're risking getting either yourself or someone else sick. And if that happens, and if that type of sickness causes you or that person to die, that's essentially on you. Because you're being a dumbass, but not washing your hands. Like, are you kidding me? So, the good thing about this virus, I'll have to say, is that they, this is making more people be more aware that they should wash their hands, but it shouldn't take a damn virus to make people realize that they should wash their hands anyways. Just saying. And with that, the reasons, and I do realize that our, the coronavirus is, should be worried, like, should, you, you should be concerned about it, because at the moment there's 6,500 cases, like, of people dying from it, and I'm not taking away from that, and I do feel bad for those people and their families, and I'm not taking away from the whole seriousness of the coronavirus. But I think people are, are taking this out of proportion a bit too much. Like, some people should have face masks if they, like, have really sensitive immune system and if they're coughing a lot and they're not going to cough with their hands. And yeah, face masks is needed. But, like, now people that are even extremely healthy, even more healthy than I am personally, are having face masks. Like, are you doing that because you have a wicked immune system, or are you, are you doing that because you, or I have some sort of cold, which will go into a weak immune system even if it's temporary, or are you doing that for the coronavirus? If you're doing that for the coronavirus. I think it's gone down a bit. That's my personal opinion. And I'm an introvert, like naturally. Even though I do love interacting with people, that's why I do live streams. That's why I love to go to conventions. I love meeting people, and I love spending time with people. But I do also love spending my alone time, and I do realize as I am saying this. That I do spend essentially more time alone than I do with other people. And I realize that I'm a hermit crab, practically. But all this coronavirus is doing is, is making my introverted side life better. Because I don't have to worry, oh, hey, should I? Do I need to get anything from the store? I can't still ask myself that, but then I can't say, hey, wait. The stores are probably going to be closed by the coronavirus. Give me an excuse to go on my electronics, play video games, watch movies like through Netflix or Disney Plus, or through my laptop. And my mom asks I me, mean, my, my mom says, hey, you need to do other things. I also have just electronics. You need to go outdoors. All I really have to say is coronavirus. 
that should make her be quiet. Especially since my mom is more of a germaphobe than I am. Because, yes, the part that where I am a germaphobe in is that I do believe everybody should be covering their mouths. Whether it's by their hands or arm. Preferably by their arm. If they're going to cough or sneeze. And if they're going to cover their uh, mouth, uh, mouth or nose with their hands, then they should wash their hands so they won't pass on any germs to anyone else. If I do believe people should wash their hands, especially after, like, going to the bathroom, or like I said, covering their mouths in terms of cough, 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 or sneeze, blow, blow. But... So that way, any germs that may come off the cough, knees, or after you did your business in the bathroom, you won't, won't be passing any potential nasty bugs along after you did your after you did your business, knees or cough. That could get someone else sick, or in that sickness, potentially leaving them to their deaths, like uh. Let's say if you have the coronavirus, you don't want to spread your, the coronavirus to people. One good thing is washing your hands, which, like I said, people shouldn't need a virus, like like any type of virus, any type of epidemic, pretty much, to want to wash your hands after they sneeze, cough, or use the bathroom it should be common sense to them and like I said I don't see ever like I don't see everyone doing that like there's been some times when people wanting me to give them head shake and I just do fist bumps like see they get insulted off it but I don't really care like I saw you you in the public bathroom not washing your hands if I saw you washing your hands, then yeah, I will give you a handshake. But since you did not wash your hands, you're getting a fist bump. If you do, if you get offended by me giving you a fist bump when you wanted to give me a handshake, then that's on you. That's a you problem. You need to go back to the bathroom and wash your hands. Then I'll have no issue giving you a handshake. Cause I, guess yeah, I know fist bump still potential of uh of crushing germs, but at least that's less likely to do so than handshake, because with handshake is palm, fist bump is fist. So, if